Hello and welcome to Weekend Projects. I'm Bree Pettis and every week I bring a project that you can make over the weekend. This weekend we're going to make something sweet, something soft, something cuddly, something sad. We're going to make sympathy dolls. I made a bunch of these over the years and they're really great to give as gifts. They cheer anybody up because they just look so darn miserable. I've made sympathy dolls out of pretty much every kind of discarded clothing. Old suits, prom dresses, discarded swimwear, but my favorite thing to make them out of is old wool trousers. Let's see if I can find some at the secondhand store. I've created this pattern for you and I'll put it in the PDF so you can just print it out and then cut it out and sew it on up. The basic idea is you'll have something like this and you'll lay it down on the fabric, draw around it, and then sew on the line. Then you can trim it afterwards, turn it inside out, and stuff it. Now let's cut our fabric and start sewing. Now it's time to sew up this last little bit by hand. I've got a needle already threaded and I've got some thread on it. Now I'm going to tie a big hairy knot. Let me show you how this works. You take the end of the thread and you wrap it around your finger a bunch. Then you go ahead and you roll it off your finger and you kind of like get it all wound up. That way it ends up kind of like a lasso like that. Then I'm going to take this little lasso and I'm going to just pull it and I'm going to end up with a big hairy knot. Thus, it's called the Big Hairy Knot. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go right through the, from the inside to the outside at the edge. Yep, that way I hide the hairy part of the knot right, right there. Then I'm going to go across, under, across, under, across, under. So I start here, and then I'm going to go, let's see if I can show you this. I'm going to go across and under. Then I'm going to go across and under and so on. Now that this is all done, I need to just tie off a knot. So I'm going to go through with one little stitch, just a teeny tiny stitch, and I've got a loop here. I'm going to go ahead and put the needle through the loop and then wind the loop around the needle a few times and pull the needle through. That's going to make a nice knot so this doesn't come undone. Buttons and googly eyes are choking hazards, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and use felt. I cut out little circles of felt and I'm all set for eyes. These just need to be glued and sewed on. For the mouth, I've got some pink thread and I'm going to go ahead and use this design and just stitch it right on there. Sewing and electronics are kind of alike in that it's really handy to have a junk drawer around. That's where I found this bow. There's all sorts of little modifications you could make to your sympathy doll, and this makes a really great gift, and it never fails to cheer somebody up. Okay, now go out there, make a really cute and miserable sympathy doll. Have a great weekend.